YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of Aptly Rise Action number 12, Shatmon. So this is uh, Offmon's ultimate. Um, honestly, he's a little bit of a disappointment. He's still got some cool bits to him. Uh, I, I really do like his design in the show, which is why I'm a little bit disappointed by him. It's mainly just in the way that the mold is engineered. Um, in case you are, for whatever reason, like new to these type of figures, if this is your first review watching, they're sort of like just buildable. You can see the little skeleton underneath here. Um, you just kind of build the frame and then the like the little armor parts on top of it. Um, sometimes there's stickers, they vary. Thankfully, this one was literally two stickers. It was for the eyes, and then you can even just barely see them because of the way his hair is. Uh, but yeah, and it offers you a fair amount of articulation. It can be a little bit iffy because the joints can pop out depending on uh, how good a quality years was, but you get a pretty solid range of articulation as you can see. Um and back here, I want to make note of this before I forget it, I have these kind of placed funny, these two little uh, app link pieces because they're supposed to go here, but when I try to turn his head, one or the other would pop off. Last time I had him, I was posing like with his head turning this way and this popped off, so I just stuck it down here. So that's kind of annoying. Like, I think I mentioned in the previous uh, Ultimate Atmon reviews that I like that they're smaller and understated and just kind of out of the way, but here it doesn't really do that. Also, the tail has a tendency to come off uh, quite easily. But yeah, anyway, uh, so yeah, articulation, all that stuff, that's the basic intro for the figure. So the thing is, is I really like the like the design of this Digimon character, which is why I was disappointed for one reason. Another reason I'm disappointed is because I felt that the uh, the design on the Ultimate Atmons uh, so far uh, have been an improvement. Not that they've all been bad this series, um, but they've been kind of here or there. Some of them will be really good, some of them will be kind of bad, some will be somewhere in the middle, but I actually really quite enjoyed all the Ultimate ones so far. I thought they're some of, if not the best looking in this line. And this one certainly isn't god awful, but you can really see the skeleton on this one. Um, it's like not so bad from this angle, but it's mainly the legs, like in the kneecaps. There's some where you can see them, but you really can see it here. And not only is it distracting, but like it makes it look skinnier just in that knee area. On the positive side, it's one of the few that actually has an underskeleton that matches its color, because uh, I've talked about that uh, quite a bit in the past. But it's just kind of a shame because between the way his, his lower half looks with this frame and then certain things like the tail or his, uh, not his hair, his these little things popping off makes it feel a bit cheap, which is kind of annoying. Um, this line's never been like the most, it's not really an expensive line anyway, you know, it's not like this is a $30 figure you're spending your money on uh, and you're going to be feel ripped off if this doesn't feel up to quality, but... Um, it still just feels uh, cheaper in the sort of fragile sense for me, compared, more so compared to some of the other ones. Uh, as you can see here, you also have the blades here, which I almost forgot to mention, that just can uh, snap on the side, and you'll, you'll be able to tell pretty easy which side's which because uh, the different ports on the different armor. And he also does come with the weapon here of the scissors, uh, which they're just two individual plastic blades which you snap together, which also come apart pretty easily. I was going to say <coughs> say that without even doing it, but it did it for me. But it's still kind of neat. You can't really actually cut anything with it. Oh my god! I should have faint blood there, but... Well, days gone by. But anyway, uh, overall, uh, I think that this is the weakest entry for the Ultimate Ones, honestly. And it's hard to say I can't really recommend this for Shatmon fans because there's not really many other options I know of outside of little niche figure lines. But I will say that if you're looking into the Ultimate uh, figures for this line, I would look at pretty much any of the other ones. I mean, like I said, not that this one's horrendous, and maybe it's just a little bit me, but I just found this one to be kind of a letdown compared to the quality of the others. Anyway, until next time, don't forget to check out the Crazy Podcast, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Dawson Ryder, signing out.